Hello, today is March 26, 2014. I, you wouldn't think I would have to look at the date. Uh, this is my birthday. I'm 73 years old. I uh, just came from the mailbox. Got a couple packages. And I'm waiting for UPS. I'm listening for UPS because they're bringing my new camera. I'm hoping that in this box is my new SD card because my old SD card, when I took it out of the old camera that I sold the other day, is a class 4. And the new camera, they recommend a class 10. And also, it supports uh, the new, I'm not sure what you call it, but it's something new. It cost me like $10 extra uh, for it. But it's, instead of 45 megs a second transfer, this does, I think, 85 megs transfer. So this is my new card, so that'll be ready when my new camera gets here. I got a 52 millimeter uh, UV lens for um, the camera and I got it for, to protect the lens. And also I got a uh, extra rechargeable battery. So, what am I missing? Um, something else didn't arrive, but I got everything I need. Uh, oh, maybe everything is here. I got this. This is a book stand. And it looks like a really nice one from Amazon and from the reviews on Amazon. And what I'm going to do with it is put it right over here. and put a large three ring notebook binder on it. And then I can flip the pages open and I'm going to use it to remind me to do certain things on YouTube and uh, on my blog. Especially YouTube, you know, I'm gonna I have where I can flip it over and it'll say, you know, okay, today's Monday, uh, the day to make a video on uh, one of my stories or something. Because what I'm thinking about doing is making my videos. Well, I got a number of ideas. One is keeping them strictly on one subject. Now I'm going to turn around and say the exact opposite. I'm also thinking about, like, on a certain day, if I make a video on, let's say Monday, I make the video on whatever the subject is, and then because it's Monday, I will tell a story. Something from something from my life. Ah, damn. I think this is going to win. 
Okay, it's a book stand. It had really good reviews. That's the front. Uh, let's see. Are these rubber bands holding it or is that part? No, that's part of... Wait a minute. Okay, I guess this comes out like this. This locked? Yes. Okay, that locks. Looks like it's going to really work well. So, I'm going to use it as a reminder, and I'll have at least that's the plan. So, put it there. Locked. So, it's adjustable. And these will hold the book from falling out, I guess. So that's where it's going to go like, as of right now. Okay, I'm going to end this and I'll come back in a little bit and open up the box, hopefully. It has my new camera in it. So do not touch that mouse. Okay. You know, I'm just going to, uh, that other, the first part was six minutes, so I'm just going to show you this, talk a little bit about the camera, and I'm not going to try to uh, put any samples or recordings on this. I'll make another video after this where uh, I'll do some video with this inside and outside and it at night and you can see how well the camera works. You know that's that's all the uh, protection uh, I don't know I, I think I'd have felt better if this box was inside another box. Anyway, it's the Panasonic FZ200. I forget in, in uh, outside the United States it's the FZ40 or 60 or something like that. And uh, it's Panasonic. It's the FZ200. Here is the camera. It is uh, 24x optical zoom. Has a 48 intelligent zoom. We'll see how that works. Uh, it's a 25 millimeter wide angle lens. One of the really nice things about this camera is that it's, it has a uh, f2.8 over the entire zoom range. So it has a very wide opening to let a lot of light in over the entire zoom range. Usually with, with cameras, perhaps it might be f2.8 at the beginning, and then as you zoom out, the lens gets smaller and smaller and lets in less and less light. So and it has an articulating back. So now remember I used to have a I think that was the Canon. Was that the Canon G12 I had? That had that. And it's really not I'm, see, I make a lot of videos on myself, right? So this way I can see myself. Um, it has a really great viewfinder. One million pixels or something like that. It's supposed to be a really great viewfinder on it. Uh, the microphones are also supposed to be designed in some manner to reduce wind. I don't see how, you know, wind noise and supposed to... Uh, baffle it out or do something. So that will be interesting. So 
Well, let's see what else is in here. Then I will put the battery on charge. And also comes with this for flare. I, I'm sure you saw some of the videos. I remember I was walking and talking videos with my other and it had the lights. Remember when I was walking down to Brahms or whatever, and uh, there was the light coming shining down with a streak or that should help to cut that out. Uh, some CDs. The camera I just sold was also Panasonic, so it uh, probably already has the software, but I think the I think this is an upgraded one. Maybe it's a software sort of designed for the camera. I don't know. Here's the battery charger. I'm going to get this thing charged up as quick as I can. Uh, lens kit, no, uh, strap, strap for the camera. I don't see a lens cap. I know it's supposed to have one. Here's the battery and the cable. Yeah, there's supposed to be a lens cap. I don't see it. Anyway, maybe it's. Anyway, um, if there's not a lens cap, here, I bet you that this camera was returned by someone and rebought, you know, they put it back in the box or something. I'll bet you anything because I don't see a lens cap. Anyway, let me end this because it's too long. And the next, I'll charge the battery up and um, take this camera for a spin. Looking forward to it. So, thank you very much for watching.